Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So behind me is a 2018 Lincoln Navigator. So got this SUV in. We're doing full front end Expel paint protection film, which is gonna include protecting the full hood, the bumper, headlights, the fog lights, the full fenders, the mirrors. And then what we're also gonna be doing is the lower doors all the way from the front to the back of the vehicle. So I wasn't expecting this, but when I got the vehicle in, it had existing paint protection film installed on it. Now I'm gonna assume it was done by the dealer. And now I just wanna go over a few things with uh, what to look for for a successful paint protection film install. Now I'm by no means the best installer in the world, never claim to be, but uh, these are just some of the things that have st stood out to me. So right away is here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up the line. I think it is. You got your partial 22 inch hood here. If you look over there, you got no wrapped edges. You have no wrapped edges on the fenders or the hood. In fact, you can tell that this has actually been hand cut. Um, any plotted kits that come from any cutting software, whether it be SunTech, Expel, 3M, they would have a computer cut rounded corner. It would look a lot better than that. So that's one thing that stuck out to me. It also leaves exposed this film, or not this film, this corner right over here, and this entire leading edge. As you can see, there was a massive stone that hit over here which penetrated the film. Um, just by looking at it, it looks like the paint is fine underneath, but once I remove it, we'll see. Got another area over here where there was a good solid hit. But as you can tell, you've got not sure if the camera can pick that up, but you got all that exposed paint right along the front of the the front of the hood here. So, in fact, over here, something must have hit the vehicle, ripped up the film as well, and then something massive over here. So, just by looking at it, it looks like it's just the uh, just the film that's damaged. So, I'm pretty curious to see what that was that caused that but um, I'm pretty sure the paint's gonna be fine underneath there. So, same thing, no wrapped edges. In fact, if you look closely, you can see that it's just, it's just hand cut. This is, uh, looks like it's computer cut, but that edge or that corner looks hand cut. Um, going back over to the passenger side here, a couple things that are sticking out to me. We've got, this bit of film over here that's popping up. So what that is, that's just, I don't think the installer did a proper job post heating, or I wonder if he ever did, did any post heating for that matter, but that should stick down easily. Going over to the bumper, you know, you've got a good, oh man, it's a good solid half inch gap where the film stopped. Very easily kind of wrapped around a little bit. So, coming up over here along this top edge, you can tell that this has all been hand cut and not very, very slow. They didn't do a proper job because you got one stone that hit you over there, which the pattern should have come up a little bit higher. And then you can tell over here you got a jagged cut mark, you got a stone chip right over there which has actually damaged the bumper. So we're gonna have to do something with that. But you can just tell that like right over here, they cut and came down. My, my guess is, is I've seen this before where this top edge was not properly sealed off. Dust started getting underneath there, so they probably just took a knife and trimmed that back. Um, you got your standard relief cut over here, which is normal but you can definitely tell that this was all hand cut instead of the proper pre-cut pattern. Down here, we got some damage as well. So this one looks like it might have damaged a bit of the bumper, but we'll see once I pull the film off. And then we got stuff over here. So these bottom plastic pieces have been installed. Now, as you can see, the film's peeling back a little bit. Now, 
It looks like the install was done good. It's got good proper coverage, but two things could have happened here. One, the customer could have gotten way too close to the pressure washer, which I've seen that before. Or two, the installer didn't properly post heat this area, which maybe they did, maybe they didn't. If you do get too close to two, 3,000 PSI pressure washer, you can still lift up film that's been properly post heated. So there's that on that side. But other than that, like the installation doesn't look too terribly bad. Looks like the alignment is pretty good. Minus the fact that some of those edges have been definitely trimmed. But the big thing that sticks out to me is just the fact that this hood was not wrapped. This is a pretty easy edge to wrap all the way around. And um, you know, if you do get a stone that hits you over here, that could be a lot of damage. And uh, this is definitely cutting a corner. Um, this should not be allowed out the door. And you can see this nice straight cut over here. So I'm almost certain they didn't properly post heat and get that down. But this isn't the worst installation that I've seen. I don't know if it was a dealer that did it or an independent installer that did the install. And I don't know what kind of film they were using. But uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be removing all that and then we're going to be installing Expel Ultimate Plus. All pre-cut patterns minus the hood. I'm going to do a bulk installation just because I can get better coverage that way. So I'm going to be doing an installation video of the bulk hood install and then I'm going to be doing a bumper installation as well. Uh, bumper install video. So this is just part one of uh, what a paint protection film install should look like. Once I'm done my install, I'm gonna throw uh, I'm gonna throw a short video up just showing what my install looks like. Not to say that I'm better, but um, these are definitely details that I don't miss, and these are details that shouldn't be missed by anybody who's doing paint protection film installs. So thanks a lot for checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the next one.